Turning now to Ohio, where there are some very concerning statistics that are scaring a lot of people out there. Officials say so far this year, a thousand kids have been reported missing. Almost 50 kids have gone missing in Cleveland this month alone. And those numbers have some police officials saying, yes, it is that bad, while others are saying, yeah, but a lot of these are likely runaways who do get found. Take a quick listen. My 33 years in, in law enforcement, uh, this is, seems like an unusually high number. In summer months, a lot of kids get antsy. They have lack of supervision at home, and they want to be out with their friends and, you know, go out into the streets and, and enjoy themselves in the summer. And Shaquille Brewster joins us now. Shaquille, uh, what is going on in Cleveland? If I was a parent there, I would be stressing like crazy seeing a headline like that. Yeah, got it. You know, I've been having conversations with officials in the greater Cleveland area, and they're saying there's not one particular factor here. There's a couple of different contributing factors to these numbers. One, you think September, uh, this is the return to school. So that is playing a part in this. We know the warmer weather in the summer, that is also playing a part. The big thing and the big trends that you're seeing here is that the vast majority of these cases involve people who are leaving intentionally, kids who are running away, essentially. And the officials there also say that the vast majority are found and returned to their parents. But I talked to uh, the president of a group that provides support to families uh, with missing kids, and I asked him about this trend, specifically that headline that you read, that 45 missing people in the greater Cleveland area just in the month of September. Listen to a little bit of what he told me. We don't want to send out some scathing alarm that there's like a serial abductor out there, things our kids are just vanishing off the streets. You know, it's safe to say that the, the vast majorities are, in fact, runaways. But that's still a concern because these children are young uh, and, you know, they think that they know everything, but they don't. He says one thing to be clear about here is that despite these kids leaving intentionally and running away, that then makes them susceptible to predators out there. So this is still a serious issue, he's saying. Uh, and one way to help solve it is by staying alert, staying alert to those uh, wanted posters or the missing uh, posters that are out there and the pictures of these kids that are sent out uh, when they go missing. But uh, he's saying it's a lot of factors that play into this rise in missing kids in the greater Cleveland area, Gotti. Such a good reminder. And speaking of, of one of those kids, uh, there are cases where kids have been missing for months. There's a 15-year-old, uh, Kishan Williams, who's been missing for three months yeah. there. Uh, what is being done to find kids like him? Yeah, and, you know, that's the exact kind of poster I was talking about. Keyshawn, he uh, went missing after going to a house party back in June, June 17th. He was reported missing on June 20th. His family is renewing their fight to help recover him. Police are investigating this as a possible abduction. But as recently as just about a week ago, you saw his family canvassing the neighborhood, passing out that flyer to individuals, telling people to be alert, to see if they see him anywhere. Uh, that's just one of the things that you're starting to see. And, you know, in that conversation I had with the president of that missing persons group, he said that it's all about the public. This is not something that police and members of law enforcement can solve on their own. It's about people calling in, being alert, sending in those tips when they find people or when they think they might even suspect uh, seeing a missing child. You see the page there uh, that's from the Ohio Attorney General's office. So take a look at that. There are a lot of missing kids and a lot of people who want to be reunited with their uh, families. Yeah, so sobering to see all those names listed there. Our, our thoughts are with Kishan's family. Hopefully he, he's home soon. Jack Brewster, thanks so much. You got it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.